Hey y'all, this is Christian Keys, and I'm coming from the 16th Annual American Black Film Festival. How are you? I'm wonderful, how are you doing? Good. So what brings you here to the 16th anniversary? We are promoting Note to Self, um, a oh. film that I'm in and actually wrote as well. Wow, 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 okay. So how did you actually get into like the acting bug? What kind of birthed your acting career? Ooh, um, well it's been what? It's been 12 years now. Um, I started out honestly modeling way back in the day and um, uh, the modeling kind of kind of got old to me, okay. you know, and I didn't just want to just stay in that lane. Right. So I started trying out for and auditioning for commercials and some stage plays and I started booking some. So. I ran and got some classes immediately because I didn't want to be, you know, exactly. I didn't want to be working out there and didn't have any kind of training. And um, it just took hold and I started touring the country like 2003 with a bunch of different stage plays and, and you know, got a chance to work with a lot of great, talented people. Um, and yeah, and now I'm doing shows with BT and, and different television and film stuff. <coughs> and. And awesome. We're going to keep it going. <laughs> awesome. Now, Tyler Perry, I know that you've been in a few of his films, mm -hmm. has labeled you as like the most consistent actor he's actually known. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? What do you think that means as an actor, as as that your profession? It's a huge compliment coming from Tyler Perry. So what does that mean to you by him saying that? Well, just in general, for him to say that I, I, I was one of the, you know, the, one of the most consistent male actors he's worked with, I think that's, um, that says a lot, you know, but it, you don't hear something like that and then just get comfortable, you know, exactly. you hear something like that and you keep working harder, so, and that's, um, that's all it kind of made me do, you know, wow. just, just continue to focus and continue to, to try to climb and, and get better at each project I want better than the last. Absolutely. So, I hear that, okay, your model you actor and you sing too? Well, I, I don't model anymore, <laughs> but I, I act and I do sing. <laughs> so, I mean, that's like a triple threat to, you know, this industry. How did that, I mean, how, as your singing career emerges, I know that you've wrote a couple songs and you've sung on a couple albums. How did, how do you stay grounded with kind of comparing with the acting and singing and how do you kind of collab with both? Um, well, the good thing about film is that it gives you an opportunity as a musical artist sometimes to submit some of your work and get okay. it in a movie. So, um, if it's good, um, Absolutely. not saying that my stuff is just the best <laughs> or nothing like that, but you know, if you if being at the music is quality, um, usually when I when I do, especially independent films or even some of the, the larger ones, mm -hmm. um, I get a chance to to get a song or two. Wow, so it's kind of cool. Awesome. I can get that out to the world. Awesome, awesome. Now, growing up in Detroit, that is like the capital of like Motown music, did that kind of inspire your singing career or had you always wanted to be a singer or what kind of inspired that for you? Um, I fell in love with a record at nine, with a Stevie Wonder song at nine years old. Wow. And, and at that point I was like, I was gone. So when okay. I started, I started writing, um, I wrote my first song at 12. Wow. And awesome. Uh, you know, I've been singing and writing ever since. Wow. Awesome. So, um, tell us about your up and coming. Do you have any new projects coming up? Singing projects, acting projects. What's, you know, what's next for you? Well, I'm, let me clear the air. I'm, I'm an actor that can also sing. Okay. Like, acting okay. pays the bills. Okay. I'm an actor. Okay. Um, I take it very seriously. I, you know, I stay studying and stay in class. Okay. Um, so the next project I have is the film that we're promoting here, Note to Self. Okay. And um, that's with myself, Latoya Luckett, Eva Pickford, Brian McKnight, uh, Valerie Pettiford, Richard T. Jones, wow. Jason Weaver, wow. Clifton Powell, wow. <laughs> Braley Evans, who's in Sparkle, that'll be out okay. in a couple months, um, JT Jackson, Willie Taylor, Mario Woodard, I mean it's a phenomenal cast. Um, wow. Uh, a couple NBA players made cameos, Morris Peterson, um, Tyson Bettis, Pat The Rock, uh, Ryan Hollis from the Celtics. I mean, just just the cast is bananas, so to, is. to have something that, that I wrote be blessed with that much talent. Um, and, and then Image, Swirl, and Tri-Destin did such a great job of 
seeing it through and making it as great as it is. So I can't wait for the world to see it. Wow, wow. Well, thank you so much for coming and interviewing with us. And hope you enjoy your stay here in Miami Beach. Thank you much. Okay, you're welcome. Indeed.